Hello everyone, I am Naval Yamal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Master and welcome to the new playlist Databricks for everyone. In my previous video, I have explained you the Databricks hierarchy like catalogs, schemas and the object. What are those? And also I have explained you how to start uh, creating a catalog schema. We worked on the volumes. Now we'll talk about the uh, functions. So functions are nothing but a saved logic that returns a scalar value or a set of records set of rows it's also called as an user defined function and you can save them in our unity catalog in your schemas so we can create a function by using a sql syntax or we can also create it by using a python but in this video i'll be focusing on creating it by using a sql so if you are preparing for the interviews Definitely, there might be a question like uh, user defined functions. You can create it by using Python and SQL, but which is the most optimized way? So, by using a SQL is most optimized way because that Spark engine can optimize the SQL, uh, I mean, function which has created by using a SQL, but not by using Python. Why? If you are interested, just comment it. I'll post that video in the, uh, I mean, in the next time. Okay. Now let us talk about the functions. So I'll just mark down this. I'll take this and I'll say functions. Functions. Okay. I'll take a simple use case here. So for that, I'll be creating a table and I'll insert some records and then I'll create a, a real time use case function. So I have a scripts already ready with me. So I'll just create a data set, a simple data set. I'll paste it here. Uh, but I'll make sure that I'm using a right catalog and the right schema. As I've mentioned in the previous video, you can use a syntax called use catalog catalog name, or you can use a two level namespace, three level namespace as well. So I'll be uh, using a syntax called use catalog catalog name. Uh, my catalog name uh, in this case is data master. I'll put a colon and I'll say use schema and I'll say the schema name as uh, bronze if you remember and now i'm creating a table table name is customers review we have a customer id first name last name and the reviews and even i'm going to insert few records i have a sample data data here i'll just put it here here we go insert into the customers review table uh, and then we are inserting their first name last name and then the reviews let me try to run this and the moment i ran you should see a new table here oh there we go we got a table and it's a customer review so let me quickly uh, do a select star from that i'll do select star from the table name and now you don't need to really write all you get a lot of intelligence or you can just click on these arrow and you get an entire table name here with a catalog name schema name and the table name so we have inserted few records yeah cool so now I have a use case for you. The use case is I want to concatenate the first name and the last name and I want them in a new column. Can we do that? Uh, so you can do it by using PySpark way, but I'm going to create a function for that. So not only for this data set, for other data sets also, I always get a first name and last name and I want to concat them with a full name. I want as a full name. So that's the reason why I'm creating a function. So I'll first show you a syntax to create a function. The syntax says, so I'll just write it here as a syntax for creating a UDF. I will simply say that user defined function. So the syntax says create function, function, and you mention the function name and you pass the number of parameters here, parameters and their data types, like what data types they are, data types and then you mention returns um, so many people get confused here returns the data type of the function so in our case whatever the function name you are mentioning it what type of uh, what would be the output of this and the data type of that output you have to mention it here and then you have to write return here you have to provide your logic so this is how your syntax will look like so let me uh, work on this so the use case is I have to concat my first name and the last name. So let me create a function here. And remember when you are creating a function, again, you have to specify your catalog name, schema name, 
uh, so that it goes to the specific uh, schema here you can see i'm getting an intelligence uh, all thanks to the databricks you can see data master bronze get customer reviews but here i'll say uh, this is not get customer reviews i'll say full name udf okay full name udf and here i'm expecting two uh, parameters first is uh, first name i'll make it as a string obviously it's a string you can see here and the last name as a string i'll get this uh, comma and then i'll say returns my uh, full name udf returns it in the string i hope you're getting this and here comes the logic so i'll say return i'll say first name first name and i want to concat this i'll put a pipe i want a space and the last name that's it i'll close this so if i run it a function would be created and let me show you how to use that function and concat your first name and last name i'll show you that so i'll just try to run this a new function would be registered under the schema so until now we have tables and volumes you should get a function if i do a quick refresh let me show you and you can see a function is here so instead of typing it every time what i generally do is i'll use data master dot bronze okay i'll use bronze and i'll open this and keep it ready now i should focus on the catalog and that particular schema and you should see the table volumes and the functions wow let us try to use this function when i try to do a quick uh, select so this is how um, udf is created full name udf is created and here go here we go it's all about the usage so i'll say select uh, not start i'll use a customer id and then i'll call the function called full name function i'll try to use this uh, full name function and i'm going to pass the variables here or uh, parameters there should be two parameters first name and the last name last name as a full name from the customers review table so most of the things i was getting an intelligence i just press a tab let me try to run this and see what happens now oh beautiful you can see your customer id is there your full name is there from this table if you want the reviews as well you can pick the reviews from here so this is how we can leverage a user defined function obviously this was a very simple logic where we have just concatenated the first name and last name but we can go with an advanced uh, functions also uh, so let us take a use case where we have a reviews like uh, this customer is saying that it's an amazing product is saying that i'm disappointed and that's a decent quality and so on so i want to create a sentiment based on these reviews whether that sentiment is a positive a negative and so on so i already have a script with me i'll just copy it i'll not waste much time i'll just paste it here wow you can see this uh, create function function name and i'm just providing one single uh, parameter here the data type of that should be a string and here i'm going to say returns the string because this function will return a string and here comes the logic i'm saying case when a review column is like so i'm using a like operator here if there is something called amazing love fantastic or it's recommended then you say it's a positive or else if it's not good or if it is disappointed if you find out any of these words terrible uh, never buying then you just mention it as a negative else if you get anything just say it's a neutral it's neutral very very useful for uh, uh, reviews if you want to do the pull out the sentiments you want to uh, do the sentiment analysis of the uh, reviews then you can do this function okay uh, the other use case would be if you have any pii data like your email address or your mobile numbers or your ssn numbers and so on you can create a function where you can hide all that pii data so if you want that script as well let me know in the comment i'll mention it in the next video okay uh, i'll be very specific now to my catalog name and the schema name i can copy the path from here i'll copy the schema path right click or you can type it so this is my data master or bronze and so on i'll try to run this a new function would be created a quick refresh and here you should see Oh, data master dot bronze. 
here you should see the function let me check ah, here you go can you see that sentiment analysis is a function now let me try to use this so again i'm going to do a select and then i'm going to say customer id i'm going to say reviews uh is it a review yeah it's a review i'll copy paste it here and now i'm going to use that function uh, function name is sentiment analysis i can copy it from here i can paste it here data master dot bronze dot function name and it just takes a reviews a review and i'm going to say as uh sentiments sentiments from the table name that's it let me try to run this and you should get a new column where you have a sentiment amazing uh cool you can see this amazing product it's a positive uh it's a negative neutral positive and negative so this is how we can leverage the user defined function you can create the functions and even you can use it for the other tables as well let me go to the catalog explorer do a quick refresh and here we go we got a functions uh, we have created a tables we have a volumes and we have a functions as well so this is how we can create a user defined function by using a sql and register them in the uc that is unity catalog i hope uh, you enjoyed this video guys if you like the content please like the video subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends keep learning thank you for watching again see you in the next video